They thought of everything with this four Bronco Sport, didn't they? And we still got the little, what's that called? Glove box. Be no! You should go vacuum out the car. Yeah, you do that. Me? I'm not doing it. Babe, you do it. It's your car. You got to take care of it. It's all dirty. Mark, it was... If you guys are here for the first time, Tootie is my wife. It's her nickname. I'm Mooch. She's Tootie. We're team. Sometimes you got to buy her things to keep the team happy. Ooh. What's up, Mooch Lifers? Welcome back. We got another Ford Bronco Sport video for you today, which requires us to go to the Ford dealership right here in my local hometown because we got some cool parts that we want to put on the car. So, a little surprise for Tootie. Tootie's home from work. Hey, Tootie. Yeah. I'm going to get something for you. It's a secret surprise. Okay. And it's for your car. So, it's going to transform everything. Bigger do tires? Some bigger tires. Bye. 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 You Ford fans aren't liking it right now, but I'm the Chevy guy. She's the Ford girl. That's what it is. The bow tie entering the blue oval. Oh, no. Oh, look at this truck right here, though. That's cool. Check it. There's a box. And then we got this little guy right here, too. Let's sneak that in there. Go surprise Tootie. Well, I was getting ready to pull out of the parking lot, but then I saw something that caught my eye. I figured we'd show you guys real quick. It is windy, so apologies, but we got some Sasquatch action over here. Check it out. Beautiful color. It is extremely windy. So just kind of show you this beautiful machine here. It's got the soft top four door. There's the Sasquatch emblem. Those big old meaty Goodyear tires. The 35s, are they? 315.70.17. Check it out. Pretty cool. And then there's another one right over there. It's a Sasquatch as well. Has a sold sticker on it. Pretty cool. Big boy Broncos. All right, now to the house. Surprise, Tootie. Those presents, you know. How about a little naturally aspirated V8? Let's go give Tootie her surprise. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Hey, Tootie. Sorry if it's windy. Ooh, what's that? Open that up. Show the people what you got. <laughs> oh, it has Ooh. a... Check it. Okay, let's bring it out in the sun. You can't see it good. Actually, you just put it on. And then... Me put it on. Yeah, you put it on. It's your car. Both your cars sitting here. That thing off road, gonna do some jumps or something. Something's gonna happen with this Dodge Nitro. But yeah, check it out. We got the hitch receiver right here. Well, let's see what it looks like. Just throw it on there. What's You're like, how do you do, do it? Do? Uh, what does this do? That goes over it. Over no, I know way. that, but like, what's that extra do hit? Uh, no, it, no. What? This has to go on first. It oh. stretches over it. Oh. <laughs> you got it, babe. You got it. There you go. There you go. Wipe it off. Make it look dirtier. Now check that out. <laughs> oh baby baby the baby baby the baby baby what do you think of that nice now the car is dirty right now guys but still check it 
be. <laughs> it's the little things. Now, do you know what the other stuff was in there? Hurry up, let's go, let's go. Check those out. You know what they are? Four mats. They are. Got the Ford Bronco oh. Sport floor mats. Oh, it Look says at Bronco that. Sport on it. Dude. Check it. With the emblem. Oh, ho, ho. that's so cool. Oh, that's cute. And it has the little tri pattern, just like the interior is the little, you know, star, tri star thing. So, yep. It's got instructions. Sorry about the wind. Oh, God. So, here, let's take, take all the pieces out. So this is probably for the driver. What do you think of that, Henry? Oh, look. Ooh, check that <laughs> out, dude. It's uh, got the bronco here, one. I didn't even know that had that. Yeah, wow, fine. look how cool that is. That must be the other side. Yeah, so that'd be the passenger. There should be one more piece. Yep. So the front passenger. Oh no, that'd be the front passenger. That's probably yeah, the front, rear. Yeah, that's the rear. Dude, it's got double Bronco Sport and the emblem. Yeah, that's fun. Wow. How's that gonna stay down though? It's well, like it must flip time. up. Well oh, wait. You should go vacuum out the car. Yeah, you do that. Me? I'm not doing it. Babe, you do it. It's your car, you gotta take care of it. It's all dirty. Mark, it was snowing yesterday. I drove through salt. Henry. Hey turtle. Tell mama to clean her car. No, Tell her. My baby. Tell her to clean it. We still got our purchased brand new paper stuff here. And it came with these cloth mats. So we're gonna go ahead and just push the tab, or how do we do this? You just lift it up. Yeah, just lift it up. And they come out in uh, the cloth ones that it comes with they're cool get it out in the sun so you can see it better but this floor is actually rubber it's an option and I went over that in my review video the whole floor there's no carpet in this vehicle and it's just in case you're off-roading and you get all muddy and you get in the car you don't have to worry about staining carpet you can just wipe it off but if we oh, yeah. we don't want to scuff all this up and make it all gross so we're going to sweep it out real good and then we put our new rubber mats on and then that rubber will protect the actual floor rubber so it's like rubber on rubber instead of rubber on carpet makes sense makes sense so let's clean this guy up because she won't do it she's lazy there we go just like that we got one piece clean uh, you could use some nice uh, you know uh, spray material clean up this rubber I'm sure a bunch of different brands make some good stuff so there it is rubbing that rubbing that on there it's making it see if you get some like cleaner like spit <laughs> rub it on there let's go get a floor mat this thing comes up like three to four fingers high look at that this wind it's blowing the old mat away and then this side right here it goes up even higher like this has got some depth to it so that's really gonna keep all that dirt and stuff trapped where you want it so let's go ahead and shove it in here this will go like that just like so and then, oh wait, I did that wrong. It goes this way. The Bronco emblem goes towards the outside of the vehicle. Then you just line up your little hole here. It might be hard to see with the sun. Ugh. Can't tell. Line up your hole there. You zoom in. Then just push it down. It should click. You hear it. And there it is. And that's it. Check it out. Tootie's way up there, yelling, how's it look? I don't know if they can see you or not. Hi. Hi. 
It looks awesome. Why don't you come down here and see it? So far, so good. We're liking it. So we went ahead and moved the front seats all the way forward. So here's what the back looks like. Same thing, rubber flooring, but we got the cloth mats. The back ones do not have any emblems on them. They're just a little bit of stitching there and plain. So we're gonna take them out and vacuum the floor and then we'll show you what the transformation looks like. So we got the passenger rear floor liner. It's just gonna slip right in like this. As you can tell, we moved the front seats all the way forward so we had all the space to work with. And that just fits right in there like a glove. Look how pretty. So we got rubber on rubber, like we said. And now for the last piece of the back, which is really cool. And now we're going to stick this one in here. And it's got the Bronco hump. So we'll get that fit right in like so. Bend that on over like that. And then I believe you just tuck this right into here just like so there you go i wish there was some fasteners right here some little clicky snaps snip 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 but there's not you could make them if you wanted but check it out now tell me that doesn't look cool same thing it's got the lip like the weather tech kind do so if you get some mud in there it's not going to jump over and go and get on your other rubber but even if it does that's why it's rubber because this is meant to be off road and if you do go off-road, no carpet stains. They thought of everything with this Ford Bronco Sport, didn't they? And last but not least, the dirtiest section here. Say goodbye to the dealership paper. We've got some cleaning up to do there. Crumbs and hair from the wife. We're going to take out the driver one. It's got the Bronco Sport. Nice fabric, but again, we want that rubber on rubber. Whoa. I have to vacuum it first. Oh. <laughs> you, you impatient over here. Why don't you clean up your own car? You got a stain on your butt? I don't even know. I know. What is that from? Poop. I... Oh <laughs> I don't know how to take them out. Oh, here. So just reach underneath it. Here, let me open the door more. So reach underneath there, and then you just kind of... Yeah, and give it a tug, like it snaps. Oh, oh. There you go. Look at all Henry's Good hair job, in babe. here. Look at you. Look at me. All right. Now I'll vacuum it out. Let's see how dirty it is underneath. Still. Yep, but that's okay. Look at the dog prints. <laughs> is that from Henry? No, it's from Lucy. She oh, jumped on my car the, today. Don't let the dogs jump on the car. Well, she just jumped on that car to say hello. It'll scratch the paint. No, no, no. She didn't jump on the car. Yeah, yeah. They probably could use a little bit of extra tender love and care with a little soapy awesomeness, but we can always do that at a later time. Just want to finish up this video for you guys and let you see what this looks like. Go ahead and snap her in. One, two, and that just sits in there real nice. Check it out. How awesome is that? I love the Bronco Sport. It's like a grayish color. And then you got the Bronco on the sill there. Is that not awesome, guys? There are aftermarket ones you can get, but these ones from Factory have the nice Bronco Sport logo with the matching triangular off-roady appearance. Again, it's that rubber on rubber. It's looking awesome. There's the passenger side. It's looking awesome back seat awesome still and especially with that bronco symbol right there same thing it's gray it's hard plastic it sticks out like i don't know quarter of an inch it's really cool so that paired with our new hitch cover with the bronco logo on it those are our first accessories Ooh. First accessories for the Bronco Sport. What do you think, Teddy? It looks nice. Nice surprise, huh? Yeah, thank you. You're Bye welcome. Bye-bye. Yeah. Mwah. Enjoy. Thanks. Yeah, sitting there with your bare feet. And you notice, guys, we've had this car for like a couple months now, since so December, and we still got the little 
what's that called? Glove box. Be no! I'm not. I'm just looking at. It. Don't ever rip that off. Uh, ever. When we trade this car in in ten years. No. It's still gonna be on Can there. I fold it in? No. Oh my god. Leave it. <laughs> I'm quirky. Well, hope you liked our accessory video. More to come. Stuff on the roof, maybe. Outdoorsy stuff. Uh, Coming soon to a theater near you. She wants tires. We'll go over that in other videos. But anyways, that's Tootie. I'm Mooch. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bring me back to